My journey started in probably September of 2011 when I noticed I was having some severe back pain. I went to my doctor. He said I had compression fractures. I went to a chiropractor that didn't do any good. I went back to my primary care. He did an MRI and some blood tests and that came back and he had a note on there, suspect multiple myeloma and you need to see a back specialist. He arranged a, uh, a visit with a back specialist for us in December, early December of 2012. I had kyphoplasty a week later and I started chemotherapy a week after that. I've been through several lines of therapy, cytoxin, belcade, and dexamethasone. After the, the stem cell transplant in July of 2012, I was on Revlimid for six and a half years, switched to Pomalist with Dara, with Dara and Dex. Uh, that lasted for about three and a half years. Then I went to Piprolis with Venetoclax. That lasted about six months. Uh, Sarclissa and Solanexor was next. That lasted about two months. And at that time, my doctor put me on the list for CAR-T. I was put on Blendrep as a bridging agent. I had my CAR-T in September of 2022. It was functioning very well until about April or May, and uh, it skyrocketed. That my Kappa light chain skyrocketed then. And so uh, I was put back on Cytoxin, Belcade, and Dexamethasone, and they've been holding my, uh, my numbers fairly steady. I'm scheduled for bispecific with Talquetamab later this month or early in November. We have approached this as a team. Um, so I'm there to support him in any way that he needs it. But I go as a second set of ears um, with all these chemotherapy uh, treatments and regimes. There is a little bit of chemo brain that's happening. So if he gets a little bit of a memory lapse, he'll look at me and I'll, I'll fill in the gaps for him and support him that way. I do most of the driving now, although he certainly can drive. I try to make sure he gets out and drive a little bit. Uh, so we can feel independent. But I do a lot of the long-term driving, driving into Boston for treatments if we need to, um, and helping with just making sure schedules are, are done and maintained, and help remind him to keep his water consumption up so his kidneys are not involved, and, and always checking in, to how are you feeling? Uh, like he was treated actually last night, yesterday, so all day along said, so how have you been doing with your dicks? You know, did you get enough sleep? And uh, just making sure that he, his fatigue level doesn't get ahead of him.